Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Every Movie Ever podcast. My name is Ben Groves. And my name is Rob McFarlane. Welcome to the show. Today, buddy, we are back on the Marvel Phase 1 train. Whoop, whoop. Yes, sir. We are tackling Captain America 2011, the first Avenger. Right. Straight off the bat, can I just say, before we discuss anything, mm. in the last episode, yes. I said that Thor... Yes. Is the best, is objectively the best Marvel film so far. Yes. Without context. And I realize, yes. I realize my mistake now. What I should have said is Thor is yes. objectively the best film that mm -hmm. we have covered on this podcast ever so far. What, of any, including... No, just Marvel. Okay. Just okay. Marvel. It is objectively the best Marvel film that we've covered so far. Right. You can see why the good people of TikTok who've never been known to judge prematurely might have been a bit confused. Yeah, yeah. I see right, my okay. mistake. Good, 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 I see my good, mistake. Good, good. I yeah. accept it. I just need to yeah. get it out of the way now so that Fine. when we're talking about Captain America 2011 as the fifth Marvel film that we've ever covered, mm -hmm. this is the fifth film that we've ever covered. It is, yeah. Because we're professional, as far as we're concerned, there is only five Marvel films. We don't know what's Great. coming next. Obviously, everyone knows what's coming next, but we're trying to, you know what I mean? Yeah, we're yeah, talking yeah. about it in the timeline. Well, do you know what I love about this? Well, None of this is making it into the TikTok clip that will eventually get you completely rinsed out. Fuck you, uh, you'll read it in this one. I'll download it from YouTube, <laughs> make one myself and just fucking post it. I'll just post it. Uh, yeah, this great. week we are wondering why Scorsese is such a pissy bitch and whether event movies age with any sort of grace. Uh, welcome to the full episode on Captain America, the worst, oh, sorry, the first Avenger. Uh, this came out in 2011. Uh, Marvel spent 170 million quid on it, Woo! which they turned into 370 million. That's not too bad. It was not too bad, but it was it's an interesting right. rewatch. And I want to know when I watched this recently, yeah. it was a very different experience to when I watched it at the time. Okay. And I was kind of, I went in with very low expectations and was, I remember at the time being really surprised how much I enjoyed it. Okay. And how much of like a sort of Sunday afternoon, The Great Escape, or the Dam Busters oh, kind of vibe it had, you know? Yeah, those yeah, sort yeah. Of, like an old 50s, 60s yeah, movie that was kind of exactly like, it that. was family friendly, but there was still some sort of like badass to it. 100%. Yeah. It's got like an Indiana Jones vibe to it at times. It, it, this is Indiana Jones. <laughs> right, exactly, <laughs> like, right. It's, it's fucking no difference. The US government decide that the best thing to do with their brand new super soldier toy is to put on a pantomime to raise money for the not so super soldiers getting shit minced by the Nazis and Hydra in Europe. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I kind of get that point. And it's a good way to get some original costumes in. I'm not mad at that. I'm but, a collector, but Rogers, man. You know what I mean? One of a kind. Yeah, I'm keeping exactly. it in the box. I'm not sending that to war. <laughs> <laughs> On a massive plane headed for the States, Cap fights Red Skull, fucking him up royally just mere moments before Red Skull gets sucked off by the Tesseract into a different dimension. <laughs> ben, dude. You know, so there's something about Mary, right? <laughs> Where they say, like, before the date, have a safety. Before you write another breakdown, I'm going to need you to just crack out a safety one because this is, this is a wrong. man who needs to open a new tab. Tell me I'm wrong. Right? Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me that, that okay. none of this isn't exactly the film. Come on. Brackets. Wife that cube, Red Skull. <laughs> wife that cube. Ben, yeah, just, right, it's right, Command right. T, mate. All right, it's all Command right. T, yeah, yeah, all right? My bad, my bad, my bad. Safety, safety finally next acknowledging, week. <laughs> finally acknowledging their love for each other, Carter and Cap organise going dancing next weekend as he's crashing a plane full of hydro bombs into a frozen tundra, knowing full well he'll be standing her up. What a gentleman. What a way but to go out. he's... He saves the world and has a 70-year nap before being rudely awakened in modern-day New York to join the fucking Avengers. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's a bit of a Sigma male move, I can't lie. Yeah, yeah. of course I'll meet you next weekend. Don't worry about it. Yeah, oh my yeah, gosh, yeah. you're so sweet. Crash. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're with Captain America, yes. the, the first Avenger, and I have got just so little to say. About Captain America? <laughs> about Captain really? America. It is a bread sandwich. It is bland, <laughs> boring. Like, I've always felt people whose favourite superhero is Captain America are the same people who think mayonnaise is too spicy. 
Uh, oh, <laughs> 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 you know, okay. it's just, it's just, he's a nice man and he's got powers. What powers does he have? Do they cause him some struggle? No, he's just like super strong and shit. He was just bullied. Know? He was bullied he's just, and he, he lost his parents. He was a bullied parents. guy and he lost his pet. Like, oh, oh boohoo, right? And I don't remember and you just, saying this about Batman when we did Batman. That guy lost his parents and you were like, yeah, he's so edgy. Yeah, but both because Batman is punching the poor definitely in the wrong. Punch, right? De- Batman is Elon <laughs> Musk, right? Batman is Elon Musk going out and being Judge Judy and Executioner. Yeah. And like that hypocrisy <laughs> makes him an interesting character because there's some um, whereas Captain America is just fucking dull. All right. I'll I'll agree with you to an extent. Right. I'll agree to an extent. <laughs> Roll credits. Yeah, 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 yeah. End the film. End it. Good stuff. So the first question that came to my mind when watching this film, Rob, is how fucking hard is it to find a nice guy in America? Oh, uh, in 1940s, there's... 1940s or now? Both. <laughs> Both. I think you're basically tripping up over them in America. Like the, I've never been to America because I've got some weird hang up. Of, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. How was that? Lovely. I got extreme. Uh, I was on the West Coast. I was in San Francisco yeah. where weed is legal. And I got far too stoned and had a panic attack <laughs> in the middle of a bar because I ordered a Budweiser. And for some reason at the time, Budweiser had renamed themselves America. So this whole right. exchange with the bartender of, hey, can I just get a Budweiser? And he's like, no, we only sell America. And I'm like, no, we're in America. And he's like, yes, we are. <laughs> but we, yes, we are. We sell America. We only like, sell America. I don't yeah. understand what's happening right now. I just really, I would just really like a drink. What an astonishing meta commentary to get when you're really stoned. It's too in a much. Bar. It was too much, man. We're in America and we sell America. Yeah. I know you do, but I yeah. want a Budweiser. Okay. <laughs> now imagine you're meeting people there who are all from California and are all well adjusted to this type of situation. I'm a uh-huh. very small English man in a very busy, mm. crowded bar. There's a lot of people here in this conversation yeah and you know when people start commenting yeah but if you had too much to smoke i'm too british for that question when i'm stoned don't ask me that when i'm high man like yes obviously yeah. i'm stoned off my tits I have. i'm not used to it being legal shut the fuck up yeah, let yeah, me just yeah, enjoy yeah, myself because yeah. now i'm thinking yeah. that every whisper is about me <laughs> i need you to imagine yourself for something i'm gonna put right. i'm gonna put you in the position of steve rogers right okay pre or post serum Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Hit me. I need you to imagine that the world is just recovered from World War One. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. There are bombs flying everywhere. The fight is is roaring back to life. The embers mm-hmm. that were dying out are now being breathed a new life. And some sort of evil mm-hmm. Nazi phoenix is rising from the ashes mm-hmm. to take Europe. America has been called mm-hmm. to help out. Your mm-hmm. father, who you admire... And love. Okay, you've lost me. Has just yeah, I know. I got lost in this point too. Stay in character. Come on, come on. Stay in character. Let's bring let's bring the music okay, back. Okay. Ready? Your father, who you mm. know and love, and he definitely did mm. not abandon you, mm. has died on the battlefield in Europe, mm. protecting his country. And your mum, yeah. who is a nurse, risking her life yeah. to treat people with tuberculosis, mm. arguably the least fun lung disease. She's also passed away, and now uh, World War II is in full swing. All your buddies have flown over to Europe to fight for their country. All of mm-hmm. your buddies can have can show their faces in public and have the respect that they deserve because everyone mm-hmm. looks at them and goes, that's someone who fought for my right to be free. Mm-hmm. You're being denied that, and everyone around you has no context to why you're not overseas fighting the, fighting the good fight. How you feeling? Yeah, fine. Are you feeling like you're gonna fraudulently blag your way into into a world fair or not particularly? No, no. All right. Patriotism thing stuck in my throat in right, this film yeah. a little bit, and that's they, the hardest they, bit to digest in this. That and the CGI. But they deal with it well. They yeah. deal with it well. I think they make it about bullies and bullying. Uh, that's they the make whole it thing, about though, a sense man. of duty. They make it, and I don't think they 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 are very clever in saying that these aren't exclusively. American attributes. Yeah, they're very good at he's doing that. He's just chosen, and the, the whole propaganda machine being the reason he's called Captain America, mm-hmm. it not being a name he chose for himself. Because if you choose the name Captain America for yourself yeah. in a universe where that character is not a pre-existing intellectual property, yeah. you are definitely a neo-Nazi. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's like me calling myself I mean, Captain Foreskin, but secretly I'm circumcised. Mm, like, like that's my yeah, whole character right. arc. You know what I mean? Like, that's not a good comic book. That's a super uh, weird character to have, right? Captain America, the, the character that you know and love, was in two 70s films. Uh, and in that one, he's administered an experimental serum called the FLAG formula. Yes, buddy. An acronym for full latent ability gain. A kind oh, of super steroid. Nice. Kind of super steroid. Nice. Which Roger's father has developed from his own glands. Ooh. Mm, subtext? It was the 70s. It was a different time. Ooh. Right. It's, and it's then, a bit cummy though, isn't it? Yeah. It's a bit cummy. And then in the second one, Go on. the second one, General Miguel... Sure. Played by Christopher Lee yes. of Hammer, Dracula, yes. and Isengard fame, uh, has an aging serum. Uh, Man. And he managed, yeah, and Captain America, by using his shield, deflects the aging serum back onto Christopher Lee, who dies because he lives a lifetime in a minute. That's incredible. I'm definitely going to see yeah. these films. I'm going to see these films. Where do you think this fi was filmed? Where, what, where's America? it set for a start? Yeah, Captain America the movie. Uh, Set in New York. New York? Yeah, filmed in Manchester, mate. Fuck off. It's like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Up north. The northern quarter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The northern Fuck quarter. It, for, for those local to the area, <laughs> the stretch of Dale Street between Port Street and Lena Street, Lena Street, was dressed and rejet dressed for the car chase. Um, That's fucking amazing. We, we, right. Okay. So it'd be, it would be Captain Manchester, mate. Captain Manchester. Red Skull would be from Liverpool. <laughs> I'm fucking sick with that. Red one. school, you bastard. Come back here, you bastard. Listen here, mate. I'm too fucking bad for Hitler. All right. Don't fucking come to my house and start giving me shit because I'll knock your fucking teeth out, you silly little bastard. Shut up, mate. Shut Take up, your mate. Fucking fucking... Shield, shove it up your fucking arsehole, mate. <laughs> Come here and fucking fight me. I'm fucking awful at Manchester. I've got, I could just say mate. Yeah. Mate, you like mate. Shit at Liverpool, do you know what I mean? I can't do Scouse unless it's like Ringo Starr, said Thomas. And then James potted away <laughs> to the shed the fat controller <laughs> i can do i can do a food order in in scouse in liverpudlian sure liverpool accent for the americans sure which is uh can i get a chicken chicken burger and a can of coke Fucking hell. that's everyone's go-to phase in it to get you into the accent. exactly yeah, yeah. Chicken. chicken 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 mate <laughs> can we quickly just touch on the tesseract because i'm confused as shit Sure. So it's a, it's a blue cube. Yes. And it's got lots of energy. In yes. It. It's like a battery, but for magic. Yes. Magic battery, mate. I get that. My problem isn't with what it is and how it works. My problem is the fucking okay. timeline of this thing because it's it's right. it's kind of breaking my brain right now. So, okay. In Thor, the frost giants have yes. the tesseract, right? And then the tesseract gets sucked mm, off into space along with Loki, no. and then it ends up on Earth. And then Shield have it in a fucking briefcase mm, after Thor, no. like the end scene, end credit scene. No, no, the Frost Giants never have the Tesseract. What's the fucking blue cube that the Frost Giants have? Ben, you've been an idiot here, right? You've confused. I've just done a hasty Google, okay. but you've confused like an absolute human idiot, yeah. like a piece of human shit, yeah. right? Yeah. You've confused. The casket of ancient winters oh, with the tesseract. Shit, my bad. Right, no, 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 I see my now, mistake. One of them, one of yeah. them is a glowing magical blue cube. Yeah. That's a magic battery. Yeah, yeah. And the other one yeah. is a magical blue, not quite cube with handles. Right. That's a magic battery. Got you. My bad. My bad. I see. I think they might have used even the same VFX asset for both. Brilliant. And just put handles on one and been like, job okay, done. Okay, so, so the <laughs> timeline of the Tesseract, it doesn't come mm. from like Asgard or any of this shit. The Tesseract was guarded in Norway and then found by Schmidt. Well, no, right? no, no, no. So it does come from Asgard. Oh, then my bad! My favourite thing about Marvel Cinematic Universe Phase 1 mm. in all the movies that we have covered so far on this podcast, not up to date, mm -hmm. just the, the five films yeah, that we've yeah, covered yeah, on yeah. this podcast... Again, this bit's not going to be on I TikTok. I don't give two fucks. I'm fucking covering my ass and I'm protecting my family <laughs> because they were ravenous on TikTok. So fuck you. Um, you had a few Irish people be sort of like, uh, that's not how you pronounce his name. I've got people being sort of like, look at this cunt. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's a different kettle of fish. Excuse man. me. I got blamed for the troubles at one point. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> to be fair, I did start. Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> um, so my favourite part 
of the Marvel Cinematic Universe Phase 1, the five mm. films that we've covered so far today on this podcast, no, including mm-hmm. involving no other Marvel cinema Yeah, catchy title films, pending. Whatever. Um, <laughs> new Seggy. Um, is the, the kill count? The kill count the kill is count's good. huge. This one goes of people off. People that are just murdering everyone else. Cap America yeah. just literally boots doors off factories oh, God, and yeah. runs yeah, in yeah, with yeah, a handgun yeah. just shooting people left, right and centre. It's mint. His kill count has got to be huge. Marvel have done quite well to just bury the lead on the fact that some of their major characters are man killers. Yeah, they're just flat out murderers. <laughs> Tony Stark is very comfortable with the concept of building machines mm-hmm. that kill people indiscriminately at the start of Iron Man Dude, 1. Dude, he kills countless people in that film. <laughs> yeah, but, then he f- yeah. but then after this, he goes away and perfects the suit, comes back, kills yeah, more yeah. people. It's fucking My, I, wicked. In, in the start of Iron Man 1, there's a bit where he, <laughs> he escapes the cave and has fitted to his suit mm-hmm. Geneva Convention violating yeah. flamethrowers. Yes. A weapon of war that is banned by the UN. Yeah. He's like, fuck them. Yeah. I want these people to probably not die, but live the rest of their lives in debilitating yeah. pain in a country, in a part of the country where it is very much village life. So I'm not only ruining this man's life, I'm ruining their family's life as they tend to them for the next 15 years. Yes. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Superhero. This is what I mean. And everyone's like, <laughs> fucking Iron Man's done it again, buddy. He's done it again. Yes. Round of applause. What, what a card. Fucking what a chap. Cap, uh, so incredible charming. Hulk. Kills countless people. Uh, Him versus the Abomination in the fucking street. <laughs> Tell me that there wasn't yeah, at least yeah, 150 yeah, yeah, yeah. casualties there. Everyone oh, was thousand, getting shit. Yeah. There was cars flying left, right, yeah, centre. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so many people yeah. die in the in the early. And this one, films. the it's superhero great. just has a machine. Gun. Yes, he just shoots people <laughs> like fucking freely, just booting doors off the hinges, mm-hmm. going boom, 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 yeah. boom. It's incredible. But I feel like they calm down on the the human killing, on the human murder kind mm-hmm. of aspect. In later well, films. I mean, let's wait to see Avengers, where literally there is a, a an analog for nine eleven happening in New York City. Wow. Oh, They're like, yeah, what I if remember. instead of planes, it's space whales? Yes, yeah. we can see that. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. <laughs>